Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to automate your technical analysis. Check this out. Here's a chart of Merck MRK. We go up to the indicators, metrics, and strategies menu and click to open it. Let's go to built-in technicals. Let's go to chart patterns. And you know what? Let's instant, instantly find a double top on this chart. Let's click once. Let's exit the menu. And there it is. A double top has instantly been identified on this chart, and it looks like price is just coming out of this double top as well. So here's the double top you can see. For those not uh, too versed in classical technical analysis, a double top happens when two, uh, when a price level gets hit twice, and in both instances, it's sold off. And the double top might imply that at this level, there's just more sellers than buyers. And in the future, this level might be hard to break again because perhaps someone is, is selling at that price. There's just more selling than buying right there. So that is automated technical analysis, though, and that's really how easy it is. We're just going to delete this image for now off the chart. Let us walk you through a few more features of this uh, new indicator. By the way, keep in mind, there's more than just double top. There's bullish flag, Elliott wave, head and shoulders, pennant, rectangle, triangle, triple top, and wedge. So you can spot any of these patterns on your chart just by clicking one of these from the indicators menu and just let the uh, TradingView platform do all the heavy lifting for you. Once you select an indicator like double top, our platform will scan every data point in every pattern looking for a double top on the chart according to classical technical analysis and what a double top means. Now you can double click just as you would on any other indicator and you can customize the settings of this indicator including how it's calculated. Your inputs for example. You can invert the pattern. You can also change the source so this would be the calculation. There is open, high, low, close, divided by four. That is usually the standard for how indicators are uh, calculated, but the choice is yours. You could select the open. You only want prices to calculate from the open, or the high, or the low, or the close, or the high and the low divided by two. It's all up to you. Let's keep it at open, high, low, close, divided by four. Permissible deviation. This is really important for all of these chart pattern indicators. The permissible deviation is essentially your way of deciding how exact you want this pattern to be. So we're going to click the X here and we're going to zoom out. And you can see when we zoom out, there's two double top patterns spotted on the chart. But when we open the settings of this indicator, so let's open the settings, and change our deviation to 50 and let it load, you can now see the patterns have not only changed, but now it's also spotted three. Why is that? What does that mean? What's happening here with this tool is we're giving it more room to deviate from a classical or typical pattern. You can also hover your mouse over this eye to learn more exactly about what this means. If we reduce this down to five, well, it's going to be a little bit more refined. And now, as you can see, there's only one shown on this chart. And that's the one we're looking at right now. If you double click, you can also change the color of these uh, patterns. Let's change it to how about blue? Let's go to blue for now. And now we have this blue pattern on our chart. There's also style and visibility. If you don't know what visibility is just yet, it's essentially your way of deciding what time frame you want this pattern to show up on. For example, we're on a daily chart. If we unselect days, well, it's going to disappear. But we will still see it on weeks, months, hours, minutes, seconds, if it exists. Now, that is an important element about the chart pattern tool. It's all about time frame. As you can see, we switched to a weekly, and now you don't see that same pattern. That's because this is a weekly chart now, so you can see how much different this looks daily.
weekly. So understanding the time frames while you're working with this tool is going to be critical and it's something you always want to keep in mind when searching for these patterns. Why don't we go ahead and go over to Tesla and we still have the double top pattern turned on. Let's go to settings, inputs, let's change this to 25. So we're gonna have quite a bit of a deviation and it's spotted a double top. Now it's not a perfect double top. A perfect double top, of course, would see price hit the exact or very close to the exact same price as the previous high. So this here would have also hit here. But remember, we changed our permissible deviation to give us a little more wiggle room. It's at, uh, was it 25? Let's take a look, let's just make sure. It's at 25, so you're naturally just gonna have more chances to find a double top. Let's exit out of double top though. Let's go to our indicators and chart patterns. Let's select Elliott Wave. So for the Elliott Wave drawers out there, you can click Elliott Wave and instantly see an automatic Elliott Wave pattern placed on your chart. You have full control over the colors and the permissible deviations, just as you would with any other tool in this new indicator suite. Now, the Elliott Wave, of course, is gonna give you some more different options because now you can customize large waves, medium waves, and low waves. We know how many people are interested in Elliott Waves to sort of chart out the nature of markets and uh, well, the corrective nature of markets. You know, they, they chop sideways, they go, they, they trend upward, then might have a sharp move downward, and we know that Elliott Wave traders love to demonstrate this on the charts. So you have full control over this, including the length type, the source, and you can even invert it. And similar, you can change your style and your visibility. Let's exit out of Elliott Wave, and why don't we go to another symbol? Let's go to Google or Alphabet, and let's see if we can find anything interesting. We could type in, for example, a head and shoulders pattern, or a pennant, or a triangle, and let's see what we found. Very interesting, as you can see, what we have here, let's exit out, what we found here is a pennant, and the pennant has been uh, instantly shown on the chart with one click, and you can change the scope of the pennant, and just not the scope, but the design of it by adjusting you the color of the price line within the pennant or if you want to even change the pennant itself, you know, you can make it all one color. Why don't we do this? Because I have more contrast on dark mode. And there's the pennant. And what's really cool about these new tools, as we just demonstrated, is you can click all of these indicators looking for them on the chart. There's no head and shoulders pattern currently being identified. There's no triangle being identified, but there was a pennant spotted in the past. So you can use these tools to look back in time to see what patterns appear and you can also use them for example on this Merck chart to try to quickly identify if you've been or if you're in the middle of a pattern at this very moment as we were just showing you you can see here there's a double top spotted right here the chart is currently trying to get out of this double top at the moment let's see if it can make it out and now we even know that this is probably a pretty important level right here at the double top. And so we're probably going to want to right click and add an alert at this price level. So this is how you can use chart patterns. And we hope you enjoyed this video. Actually, you know what? As one more quick example before we wrap up, another interesting way to use these chart patterns is to compare and contrast the technical analysis that you draw uh, relative to what the TradingView platform identifies. So if you would have drawn your double top different than this, you can hide it, draw your double top as you see fit. You know, where's your where's the where's the start of the move? Where's the corrective nature of the move? Where does the double top actually get formed? You can draw that out and then compare and contrast how that how that looks compared to our automated system. Let's use the path drawing tool, for example. And what we can do here is 
well, let's say in, in, in this example, we might end our double top right there. So here's our double top. It's, we believe the move started here. Here's the top, you know, the correction of the double top, the next highest point, and then the double top sort of ends at this level here. Well, now we open up our chart patterns, click double top, and very interesting. We can compare and contrast the double top that we would have drawn or that we were looking for compared to what the system identifies, what the TradingView platform is calculating. It's pretty cool to see how precise you are. Actually, the, the, the top that, that we just drew as, a, as an example is pretty precise relative to the points that this automated system just identified. So have some fun with it. Go out there, look for patterns instantly with a click, and more importantly, Compare and contrast your drawings to the automation of technical analysis and see how good you're doing. Or maybe see what you can improve or what you think you're doing really well. So thanks for watching. Leave any questions or comments below.